check this out. Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Dog Training with American Standard Dog Training and DIYK9.com. We've got a special treat for you today, something a little different. This is Dallas, aka Austin. His real name's Austin, we call him Dallas. But he finished uh, just a couple months ago uh, our academy for professional dog trainers. And now, this is his very first dog that he trained on his own from scratch as a professional dog trainer, as part of our program. We get a lot of calls come in, we get fully booked out, and we're at a point now where we have to start sending dogs to, guess what, certified trainers. So Dallas is one of our certified trainers, and again, this is his first dog. So in this video, you're gonna see uh, what he was able to accomplish uh, based on the skills handed down from me to him for this awesome dog. So we've got a little bit of a rainstorm coming through. Once that passes over, you're gonna see us go ahead and take him into somewhat of a busy area. Hopefully it's busy and you'll see how he performs. So make sure to watch till the end because we'll talk a little bit more about the Certified Dog Trainers Program and how you can go from zero to hero if you wanted to be a dog trainer. We'll see you in the video. All right, so we're gonna do a little test. It's an off-leash test right here, beautiful background. We should be able to do this test anywhere and everywhere, so we literally just hopped out of the truck and I said, let's get right to it. We're gonna do a test, a little obedience test off-leash to see how Dallas and Mr. Max do. So stay tuned and we'll show you how it's done. All right, so we're gonna get the test started. I'll be over here behind the camera and uh, Dallas will follow different directions I give him to do with the dog. So without further ado, let's get started. Go ahead and start healing uh, that way along the grass line. Heal. A lot of smell in the grass. I'm gonna see if the dog wants to drift off and be a goofball. Make a right hand turn, making sure the dog's staying with him. How old is Max? Seven months. Seven months old. Come to a stop, looking for an auto sit. Beautiful. Nothing said. Praise your dog. Let him know you're happy with that. All right, tell him to stay. Stay. Walk around. Let's do a big circle around him. Take your time with it. Walk natural. There you go. Walk like we're not filming you. So the millions of fans don't see you screw this up. All right, come back, pick your dog up. As you're walking by, snag him. Heel. Good. All right, spin around, go the other way, and fast pace. And let's do a big arching left turn. There it is. Good boy. So uh, down him. Down. There you go, good boy. Stay. And now we'll just do a down stay and we can talk um, right here. All right, so I'll give him a, a passing score on that. So now we're gonna take Mr. Max to a much busier spot over here and we'll do some more work around some distractions and do an extended down stay with a ton of distractions of people walking around. All right, now we're gonna test Max's recall. Uh, it's just a nice spot here by the grass in the shade so we might as well do it now before it gets too tuckered out. So there he is, just hanging out, he's a free dog. Technically, he's allowed to pee or poop or do whatever he wants. And while he's in the middle of sniffing, I'm gonna go ahead and call him now. Max, here. Good job, Bubba. Good job, yeah, buddy. Such a pretty dog, too. And then now we'll go ahead and send him back to Dallas whenever he calls him right now. Max, here. Good beautiful, boy. Beautiful. See, nice, friendly, happy dog. And yes, we do balance training here. That's how this dog was trained. So he was trained with food rewards, Max. but also underscored all of his positive reinforcement training with uh, balance training, which is the use of uh, e-collar pressure as needed to bring a little bit of fire and enthusiasm and some precision to his training. And of course, the big one, reliability, right? Reliability. So again, seven month old dog out here off leash, but let's again, take it a little deeper and show you how he works around big distractions. So we're gonna come across the street here. We'll come to a stop, make sure he sits. You taught him how to look both ways before crossing the street? Yeah, it was a little, a little tricky, but. <laughs> All right, let's, let's move it along. All right, so we're here at Weston Town Center and uh, we're hoping there to be some more people. A lot of cars here, but everyone's hiding inside the stores. Just really hot out, probably close to 100 degrees, plus the humidity. Uh, but there is a, a nice air conditioned pet store here. Plenty of distractions in there, so we'll take them in there. We'll just walk down this way, there's a few people, just to show you how he does when we pass by people. You'll notice uh, Dallas has an e-collar in his hand because we are right next to a road. And so the e-collar in this case is acting like our seatbelt or our uh, digital leash. God forbid he wanted to see, uh, he saw a cat, a squirrel, another dog, and for whatever reason that triggered hundreds and thousands of years of prey drive that tells the dog, chase that. We have a way to reliably get a recall if, if you need it. So anyways, let's, um, push across the street here and go inside the pet store and see how he does. 
heel. How you doing? Hi. Good. Good, good. Looks like you guys are clearing out, huh? Yeah, we're closing down. Yeah. It's not easy, huh? No, it's not. It's definitely, uh, these days are definitely tough. Perfect, perfect. Circle this way. Lots and lots of dog smells here, treat smells, everything else. So we call that a pass. Excellent job. All right, so now we wanted to see if Max can heal, if I want to heal with him, right? Because it's one of the questions we get asked is, if the dog learns with a specific trainer and spends most of his time with one trainer, then how does that translate over to the owners? And well, as you can see right here, I have little to no training with Max. Uh, he's done most of the training with Dallas. Let's see what it looks like. I'll go ahead and walk him this way. Max, okay. I'll just let him know I'm the guy that's holding the leash, so to speak, that he needs to be with me. Come on, Bubba. And let's test my favorite. Come to a stop. We're looking for an auto sit. No auto sit there. It's a little hot out too, so sometimes they don't like to put their butt on the ground. There she is, right there. Stay. How are you? Nice looking pup, love this dog. So, okay, now he heals with me. All right, we're wrapping things up here with Max and Dallas. Uh, Max did wonderful, which means that Dallas did wonderful. Uh, again, six week boarding train program, fully off leash, seven month old puppy. Ask yourself, is your six, seven or eight month old puppy or even your two or three year old dog, does it behave this well even on leash, let alone off leash. Now, I will say that it's not like you saw a lot of pizzazz out of the dog. It's not like he's attention healing, uh, frolicking around like a, a, a competition dog or like a, like a stallion. Uh, but that's not what the owners want, nor is it what they need. They just need a calm, reliable, confident, obedient dog that you can take anywhere and everywhere. And that's exactly what we have here. So Dallas killed it. Uh, Dallas, tell them a little bit about your, your experience training him. Um, it was wonderful. Max was a great dog to work. Um, if I ran into the issues, I would just, you know, give Garrett a call or go over his house and he just helped point me through the way. Yeah, he would send me video updates and we would check in with him, but mostly I'm just there to encourage him and let him know you're on the right path. Um, the struggles that you go through with training any dog, it's typical. There's always little, every dog's a little different and there's always one issue or another that you're going to run into, but he's done wonderful with him and uh, he actually goes home today. So this was his final little test, if you will, but uh, it's final little test and he'll be going home where he's going to spend the rest of his life not only being disobedient, but continue to get better and better and better because we are going to pass off the tools and knowledge to the owner so that they can maintain the training uh, that has been put into Max. So wonderful job for Dallas again. Great job. Thank he you. killed it. And now many more to come. And now Dallas is on his way to uh, train many, many more dogs and continue to improve as a dog trainer. Mm -hmm. And wait, this is his first dog, folks, his first one. So imagine when he's on his 10th, his 20th, or his 100th dog, how those dogs are gonna turn out. So thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Now, if you are a dog trainer and you wanna boost your dog training skills or boost your business know-how and become an amazing dog trainer and just dominate your specific marketplace, or you don't know anything about dog training and you're starting from scratch, but you want to be the best dog trainer in your area. You want to make a six figure income, maybe even a seven figure income if you're really good and just absolutely dominate your specific market. Make sure to shoot us an email info at DIYK9.com. We have a certified dog trainers program and we also have a program, our professional, excuse me, our American standard dog training academy for professional dog trainers that will take you from zero to hero. All right, folks, we'll see you in the next video.